Hello. Hello, magandang uh, ang hari na sa ating lahat. Okay? Welcome to Asap TV Philippines. Okay? Uh, sandali lang ang konti at uh, mag-monitor lang tayo. Okay, so magandang uh, tanghali sa ating lahat. Magandang hapon na rin. Okay? So, my name is uh, Larry King. So, kumusta kayo lahat? So, I think uh, medyo ilang araw din yung lumipas. Okay? Regarding doon sa ating uh, topic. Okay? Yung last time kasi pinag-usapan natin yung tungkol sa uh, tinatawag natin Uh, common interview questions. So, yung part 1 ang meron tayo before, okay? So, this time, ang pag-uusapan natin is common interview questions for live ASEP uh, uh, discussion, yung part 2 naman, okay? So, before, meron tayo nung 1 uh, and 2, 1, 2, and 3, okay? So, ngayon naman, ang pag-uusapan natin is about doon sa part Okay, part 2, yung 4, 5, and 6, okay? So, kumusta kayong lahat? Anyway, bago tayo mag-start, kumusta lahat? Um, bat batiin natin si uh, Jose Lito Pesat Toleroso, okay? Ah, oo, oh, naalala ko na to, nag-attend to sa Batangas before, okay? So, si June Max and Elbert, you are watching also, so hello. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, balikan natin yung 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 uh, first part before, okay? Yung last part before. So last time, pinag-usapan natin yung what would you do the first week on the job. Pag yun yung tanong ng interviewer, what will be your answer, okay? So ano ba yung ating magiging sagot dapat diyan? So on the surface, this question is about priority. So atin lang i-review So this uh, this question is about priorities, but it's also designed to find out whether you know what you need to know to do the job. So yun na kailangan. So you need to know uh, everything that you need to do the job, and whether you know what's important. So ano ba yung dapat mong uh, ano ba yung importante para ma-perform natin yung ating uh, job? Hello, Edward. Actually, good morning, John. Okay, good morning, John. Dito afternoon na. Okay? Anyway, a good answer would include inspecting uh, any uh, facilities that are in your area of responsibility. Getting to know the managers at those facilities and examining the company safety record to identify any patterns. So, meaning to say, yung mga kailangan mo na malaman, kailangan mong uh, makilala, and yung mga focal points na kailangan mo kausapin, so yun yung kailangan mo uh, kailangan mong uh, Um, i-consider during the first week of your job. Kasi may mga bagay na kailangan mong uh, maintindihan, yung mga importanteng bagay kung ano yung dapat i-priority mo nang sa ganun ay uh, mas magawa mo yung iyong trabaho. Okay? So, uh, okay. Now, uh, punta natin yung yung review natin for the second question. So, How would you handle a plant manager who thought safety procedures were uh, a waste of time? Kunwari, let's say yan yung waste of time. So this question is uh, partly about whether you're naive uh, enough to think that everyone is as enchanted as you are. Correct? So hindi lahat, usually safety kasi ganyan yung iniisip. We are so much, we are so much, uh, You know, we are so much enchanted about safety na kasi naiintindihan natin yung importansya. So, ang our role, ang role natin is to make sure that maintindihan din ng mga uh, iba pang workforce sa company. Okay? So, uh, Samir Gabriel, okay, thank you so much, Sir Larry, for sharing. Anyway, we're just reviewing the first uh, three, yung first part natin ng discussion before. 
Okay, so itutuloy lang natin kasi medyo na hold. Uh, actually, I was supposed to have a meeting today, uh, 10 o'clock. So, ngayon, na move down 2 p.m. So, uh, ang mangyayari, uh, sabi ko sayang in time. So, I would take the, the opportunity to do the live session for this. So, yun nga, you'd also want to cover what you do if you absolutely couldn't win the plant manager offer, okay? So, one good answer could be acknowledging both the plant manager's feeling as well as the company's requirements. So, meaning to say, uh, kailangan uh, tingnan mo, ilagay mo yung sarili mo doon sa side nila because they have also other responsibilities. Um, like, for example, uh, they, they need to make sure that the operation should uh, should be as 100% uh, as planned, okay? Kung ano yung, ano yung plan ng production, ano yung target production, it must go on, okay? Must go on. So, meaning to say, uh, safety should be helping the operation of production to ensure that the target will be met. So, hindi yung police pulisan ang ating strategy. Okay? And asking for his suggestions, definitely you have to engage them, you have to involve them. So, yung plant manager is thinking is waste of time. Okay, you ask him what is the best the best way to make sure na ganun yung mangyayari. I mean, mas mas uh, magiging involved siya, okay? Para ma-improve yung safety regulation. So, probably there are some regulations that the company have, pero kailangan ay uh, may ensure na hindi naman ako compromise ang ibang aspeto ng business or ng company. Because hindi naman pwedeng sabihin nating safety first. Actually, this is the most uh, uh, misconception of uh, uh, every safety professional. So, pag sinabi nating safety, safety first. Actually, if safety first, ano mangyayari sa business? Definitely walang mangyayari sa business. Ang rason ay mako-compromise naman ang production. Yes, your 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 workplace probably may be safe, pero ang problema doon, kung wala ka naman production, where will the company get their uh, income or profit, right? So yun. Uh, now, sa... Number three, okay, so what would you do if someone called and said there had been a serious accident at our facility? So meaning to say, ang pinaka, uh, pinaka summary of this is, if this is the statement, huwag kang mag-a-assume, huwag kang mag presume na kung ano yung meron, okay? Walang sinabi na serious accident about no, ang, ang, ang mention lang is serious accident at our facility but they didn't mention about any casualties so so hindi first aid kagad yung iyong uh, atake or hindi ka pwedeng sumagot ng, ng base doon sa meron ka na agad pinupuntahan na conclusion okay so the point of this question is to find out whether you can balance company policy policy with common sense so a good answer might go something like this you know uh, well, one of the first things I do is familiarize myself with the procedures ahead of time so I could make sure that my response is in alignment or buying that I find out what type of first response was needed. Okay, so both to treat the injured and resolve the situation if it was ongoing and get the response started. So I mean to say, Either or, okay? So, kung facility, like for example, meron kang fire incident, wala namang casualties. So, make sure you have to, and the first thing that you're going to do is to make sure na maintindihan mo yung proce proseso or procedure in terms of emergency response ng company. So, yun, yun ang kailangan mong i-prioritize na malaman. Rather than mag, uh, mag uh, come up ka agad sa gusto mong isagot sa kanila. Because, Remember, during the interview, the interviewer is looking for the answer that he has in mind, not what you have in mind, okay? So now, uh, puntahan natin yung, uh, yung ating part 2. So in part 2, by the way, so sa part 2, pag-usapan natin yung common interview questions, okay? Yung 4, 5, and 6, okay? So now, uh, Ito yung question number four. Okay? 
So, so question number four, what would you do if a plant manager asks you to ignore a safety violation? So, ano yung iyong gagawin? Okay? Kapag yung daw si uh, plant managers uh, tinanong ka, I mean, hiniling sa'yo na ignore mo na lang yung safety violation. And usually that is happening. Okay? Usually that is happening. The problem only is our approach is not the right approach that we are supposed to uh, do. Okay? So, yun yung ating issue. So, anong ating gagawin? So, what do you think? Ano yung ating dapat gawin? Okay? So, this question is designed to see how you balance ethics. Okay? So, yung, yung ethics na tinatawag natin, how we treat people, or how we coordinate with people. So, professional uh, responsibility and common sense. Ito yung mga babalansin natin. We have ethics, we have responsibility, and common sense. So, a good answer might sound something like this. If it were a minor technical violation that was unlikely to result in an injury, okay, so, I might give the manager 24 hours to fix it. So, you have to give consideration in terms of, uh, you know, um, professional responsibility and ethics as well. So, at that time, I'd do another inspection if it were a major hazard. However, I'd, I'd have to refuse to ignore it. So, yun yung the best answer. So, meron pa ngayon i-co-consider in terms of practicality which you will use your common sense. It's either you have to check kung minor lang ba yung violation or you have to check whether the, the violation will result into a major uh, risk o kaya yung hazard ay major na, okay? So you have to refuse to ignore it. So hindi pa pwedeng i-ignore yun kasi probably the result will be catastrophic. So yun yung issue doon. So Meaning to say, hindi mo pwedeng basta sabihin na usually ito yung mga sagot ng mga ini-interview. Uh, kapag, kapag tinanong tayo na ganito, what would you do? Sasabihin mo agad yung second uh, option or second uh, part ng sinabi ko. Uh, sasabihin mo lang, no, I, I'm going to refuse to ignore it. Because a safety violation must be a safety violation. Okay? So, if anybody could make a violation against safety rules and regulation, we have to uh, uh, put the sanction in terms of the penalty. Kung ano man yung nakasaad sa ating HR rules and regulation kapag nag-violate sa mga ganitong klase ng uh, regulations. Okay? So, pero, we have to consider. We have to consider practicality as well. We have to balance. Okay? But, lalagyan mo lang, lalagyan mo lang siya ng lalagyan mo siya ng, ng timeline and it has to be fixed. Hindi mo naman pababayaan na wala na. Okay? Hindi mo pababayaan na, sige, okay lang, diretso. But the thing is, you have to ask them, okay, how are you going to fix it? I will give you 24 hours to fix it and I will consider this uh, for the meantime. Kasi minor lang naman yung violation. Okay? Hindi rin naman ito magre-result sa ganong level of injury which is, uh, let's say, for example, medyo minor lang. Okay? So, yun yung point about question number four. So, what do you think about that? Now, ito yung tanong ko. Okay? Um, ano yung gagawin mo kung ito naman yung question? Okay? Yan. Kung ito yung question, what will you what will you do? Tell me about the biggest challenge at your last job. Now, para dun sa mga walang trabaho, of course, or of first time pa lang, do you think wala kang sasabihin regarding your last job? This is the problem, you know. Kapag nag apply tayo and we are first time here, kinoconsider natin na we came from nothing. Okay? Hindi ibig sabihin na hindi ka pa nakakapagtrabaho bilang safety, you are just a first time yan sa job, sa trabaho, di ba? Malamang nagtrabaho ka na and if you really uh, doesn't have any work yet, okay? Hindi ka pa naka-experience na magtrabaho, at least na-experience mo na magkaroon ka ng responsibility doon sa school kung nag-aral ka. Okay? You have to relate, you have to relate something on the company that you are applying for. 
Okay? Let's say, for example, ako, bago akong safety, and this is what I did before. Nung baguhan ako, okay, nung baguhan pa lang ako, taga-apply ako, when I was used to ask uh, things like this, ang lagi, ang lagi kong ipinapakita is about my previous job. It, nevertheless na, hindi to related doon sa sa safety, okay? Pero ang point doon, especially when I was working, uh, I was working and I'm leading some team in my previous job, I I'm, I have a supervisory skills, okay? So, yung mga challenges doon, pwede kong i-adapt dito sa, sa question na to, okay? So, yung, let's say for example, I, I am leading five person before. So, I mean to say, how do I deal with these people? Ano yung mga challenges ko? Then that is what I'm going to relate on this question. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, eh, papaano? Wala pa ako experience. Okay? Usually, ito yung problema eh. Kaya hindi matanggap yung walang experience kasi ipinamumukha nyo sa interviewer na wala ka, nagmula ka sa zero. In the first place, nag-training ka eh. You know, that is the good thing about you, uh, about most of the safety right now. Because when I started my career in safety, I don't have any formal training. Wala akong certificate. And then wala akong experience related sa safety. But what I did, I used what I have learned from my previous job. And then in relate ko siya sa safety. And definitely, I, I read a lot of, uh, of uh, materials prior to uh, prior to applying for a job in safety. So yun yung ginamit ko. But I do not have the certificate because it is not the certificate that you uh, na magiging rason para ma-hire ka. ma ka because of the skills, because of the knowledge, because that is what you need to do the job. Okay? Hindi mo, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na I have a lot of certificates and I will be using my certificates to do the job. It's not like that. What you've learned because you just collected information in the first place, okay? You collected information from the last job, that, I mean, the, the trainings that you acquired, okay? Pero, hindi pa yung knowledge. Para ka lang nakinig ng balita, diba? But what, what have you learned from those information? Anong, anong natutunan mo? And how are you going to apply those knowledge? That is the most important thing. Pag alam mo yung application of knowledge, definitely it will become a skill, okay? Now you have the skill. You will be able to perform the job because ito yung skill na kailangan mo dun sa sa iyong trabaho. Okay? Now, kung kailangan mo to sa trabaho mo, nagamit mo to sa trabaho, there are times na yung mga skill na nakita mo and your knowledge na na-collect mo, okay? Including all the information that you have collected from your trainings, okay? Hindi lahat yun applicable. There are times na meron kang maling information, okay? or maling pagkaintindi. Iba sa application. Okay? So, you have to validate and you have to select. Once you have selected all those uh, knowledge, okay, na i-co-compile mo ngayon, practice mo in terms of skill, then definitely this is what will happen. Okay? Kapag paulit-ulit mo nang ginagawa yung skill na yun, or ginagamit mo yung skill na yun to perform a job, that will make you an expert. Okay? And it's, that is the role of experience. The problem is ito. Kaya maraming problema in terms of experience. Kaya nga meron, meron kang mamimit na mga safety or kasamahan natin safety. They have 10 years of experience, 15 years of experience, pero safety officer pa rin. The point is, you know, they are not validating which skills and knowledge are true. Alin ba yung applicable? Okay? So, yun yung kailangan nating intindihin. So, make sure, this is what you are going to make sure. You have to validate all the information that you have collected and make sure convert it into knowledge. And then once it becomes a skill, apply it. Okay? How to become a skill? All the knowledge that you have collected must be uh, known. Kung ano yung application niya. Pag nalaman yung application, then use them. Now, kapag maganda yung result as expected, then use them again and again until you master it. Okay? Once na na-master mo na, that will make you an expert. That is the simplest way to become an expert. Okay? Now, for this question, by the way, anyway, bago ang lahat, I would like to uh, acknowledge yung mga, yung mga kasamahan natin, si Mark Adriel Klett, okay? 
Uh, shout out sa inyo kay Jerry Paolo, Fujiko Areta, okay? si Sean Maranyon, si Bernie Santiago Martin, good morning, uh, good afternoon na dito sa, sa Pilipinas. Probably nasa sa Middle East ka, right? Okay, so yun. Uh, yan. And then this is what we are going to do. Ano yung kailangan natin gawin in terms of this question? Okay, how are we going to deal it? Deal with it. The purpose of this question is to get some insight into your personality. Okay? And to what you find difficult. Yun lang. So, meaning to say, hindi mo kailangan na safety yung pagbabasihan mo ng last job. Hindi naman sinabi to, dito sa question eh. Tell me about the biggest challenge at your last job in safety. Right? So, huwag ka masyado mag-conclude. Use your last job kung ano yung last job mo. Okay, okay, waiter ka before, security ka before, or uh, skilled worker ka before, scaffolder ka. So, ano yung mga biggest challenges mo? Because this is the... You know, he will ask you, how have you handled those challenges? Kasi ganun din lang yung titingnan eh. Kasi ang hinahanap, actually, nag-ahair ang isang company because they are going to look for a person who can help the company solve a certain problem, yun yung rason kung bakit nag-ahayar. Ngayon, kung isa ka sa mga mareklamo, puro ka problema, and wala ka lang ang inilalatag na solusyon, what will happen? That is the type of personality that you have, and that is what you're going to show to the company. So, hindi ibig sabihin na wala ka experience, hindi ka tinanggap. But the personality that you have, yun ang rason kaya hindi ka tinanggap. Okay, let's say for example, kailangan nila for for uh, tinatawag natin na tinatawag natin na compliance eh. okay so kaya ka hinayan for compliance so this is what will happen okay hinayan ka but definitely if they are not satisfied with your personality and your attitude okay and aside from that hindi sila satisfied about you being a potential solution to the problem of the company eh definitely hindi, hindi malaking sahod ang matatanggap mo Kaya huwag kang magre-reklamo na yung company nyo is mababang magbigay ng sweldo. It's not about the salary. I mean, it's not about the company who can, uh, sila ba ay able to give a better salary package. Hindi yun. Kahit pumunta ka pa sa pinakamalaking company at ganyan yung ipapakita mo, definitely you will be receiving the same salary unless meron silang tinatawag na salary bracket. Okay? May salary grade sila sa company nila sinusunod. And the least na sweldo is mataas na compared dun sa mga ibang companies because definitely they are able to pay higher wages. Pero ang point ko, nandudong ka sa baba. Okay? Compared dun sa mga kasama mo na mga nasa sa ibang bracket. So it depends on the level of personality that you're going to show and to what you find difficult. Okay? If described something, okay, if you describe something that's a common occurrence at your prospective employer, you're unlikely to get the job. Of course. Kasi bakit? Eh, paano kung ganun din sa kanila? Parang sinabi mo, ito yung dapat nating iwasan. You should not be pointing your finger to the previous company. Bakit ka umalis doon? Ano yung problema mo? And then sabi mo, eh, pangit kasi yung palaka doon. Wala silang pakialam sa safety. You know, hindi sila walang pakialam sa safety. Ang problema, they were not uh, given a proper awareness kung ano ba yung importance of safety. And sinos dapat na magbigay? Ang dapat magbigay is yung mga safety advisor. Now, ang problema, bakit hindi na nabigyan ng proper awareness? Hindi yan, it's not about giving them a PowerPoint presentation. Okay? You have to justify every details that you want to propose. Hindi yung pwede sinabi, sabihin mo lang na, okay, bakit kailangan na mag-suit ng safety harness? Because it was written in the standard. As per dole yan, as per OSHA yan, as per ayos yan, as per NIBOS yan, as per UK. Eh, ay, bakit napasulat sa standard in the first place? You have to make sure na maipaliwanag at maipaintindi mo sa kanila. So, hindi challenge yung mga ganung bagay. That is your weakness. That will become your weakness. The reason why you will not get the job, especially if you have no experience. Okay? Wala ka nang experience. Basic pa yung course mo. By the way, 
Hindi ang pinag-uusapan nating basic dito is yung boss and coach lang sa Pilipinas. Because even Ayos, Nibos, and OSHA are basic too. Ano ba yung OSHA? OSHA 30 for construction. OSHA 30 for uh, general industry. And Nibos, what is Nibos? You have IGC. Okay? Kung IGC lang yung certificate mo, you also have a basic course. Ang pinag sa ibang mga course, yung evaluation system is very systematic. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, hindi mo pwedeng basta-basta dayahin. But, there are also ways na pwede nang gawin ngayon. Okay? And that's why ang, 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 ang proseso na nga lang ng, ng Nibos is bigyan ka lang ng review for 10 days. Okay? Review na lang. In, wala na training. Actually, wala na training na gaganap. Bibigyan ka ng materials and then we review it for 10 days. After that, schedule ka for exam. But what will you get? An international general certificate. General. From the word itself, na general, that is basic. Walang specialization, walang specific, and not technical. Kaya, if you have the boss and you have boss, you also have the same level of certificate. Okay? By the way, one good approach is to mention things that are likely to annoy your prospective employer. So, two, like, like employees, you know, uh, who are always trying to circumvent safety procedures. So, dapat, um, ang kailangan natin is, you know, pagka ipinofocus yung problema about or kinokwestiyon yung, yung, yung safety procedures, you have to make sure you have a ready solution. Okay? So, kailangan dito sa question na to, be careful not showing your weakness. Okay? So, yan sa number five. Now, uh, what we are going to do is uh, yung tinatawag naman natin na yung sa number six. Okay? How do you handle record keeping? Kasi importante sa safety yung records. Diba? That is our proof. Even pictures are part of the records. Even uh, attendance sheets are part of the record. Okay? Especially kapag nagpamimo ka, okay, kapag ginawa natin ng ganitong klase ng activities, we have to make sure people were trained. Okay? Kung papaano. Okay? By the way, bago natin i-continue, I would like to acknowledge si June Radek De Claro. So, hello, sir. Si Radan Mistul. Okay, so magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Okay, now, uh, how do you handle record keeping? So, ano yung kailangan nating gawin in terms of record keeping? So, your prospective employer is trying to determine whether your place is proper, uh, pl uh, your place proper importance on protecting the company from liability. So, kasi in the first place, you know, the reason why uh, ang, ang main purpose of having safety or safety management system in a company is to minimize the losses. So, ang losses nang gagaling sa napakaraming bagay. Pag pinag-usapan natin is compliances, losses from expenses, losses from liabilities. Okay? So, kapag ka meron ka ng liabilities in terms of uh, non-compliances or in terms of accident because you did not comply on some regulations, that is part of the liabilities which will contribute to the losses of the company. And alam naman natin, the more losses, the low profit that the company will get. So, bababa yung profitability ng company mo, babagsak yung business stature ng company mo. So, yun yung problema. And that's the reason why. Kaya yung iba, walang bonus. Okay? So, yun. A good answer may go something like this. You know, I found that keeping accurate records, okay, while it may not be exciting, yes, of course, it's critical in protecting both the company and the employee. So, parehas lang. Kung meron tayong mga records, meron tayong mga references, okay? Kapag ka dumating yung point na sino, who will be liable for such actions, okay? So, meron tayong mga records. Especially permit-to-work system. Imagine nyo na ang permit-to-work system nyo is walang physical permit. What will happen? Ah, hindi. Okay na yan. Or wala din written method statement, walang written GHD. So, imagine mo, walang documentation or walang records. 
what will happen? So everybody will just point finger on somebody else. Kasi wala namang proof eh. You cannot even prove that it is a uh, it is a fault of somebody else. And the problem about that is hindi lang yung pagtukoy kung sino ang may kasalanan. But the thing is, you know, how you are going to correct and prevent recurrences of such problem. When it arises again, hindi mo alam yung gagawin mo because you don't have any references. Okay? So, yun yung point. Now, I also think it's crucial. Ito yung mas maganda, uh, magandang part. Yun yung, I also think it's crucial to make a thorough report of an accident right away while the details are, are still fresh. Okay? So, in terms of accident reporting, as much as possible, the earliest, the better. Okay? So, hindi na natin kailangan, ano, ano, ba yung, ano ba yung standard, ano ba yung requirements, ano ba yung uh, kadalas ang ginagawa ng mga ibang companies, gano'ng katagal bago i-proceed i- yung, uh, yung accident report. Parang sabihin nung isa, eh, hindi, base sa dole, ganito, ganito, or base sa OSHA, ganito, ganito, um, kailangan within 24 hours. Okay? But if you can do it in 8 hours, why will you wait for 24 hours? Well, which one is still fresh? You know, the, all the information and details are fresh in 8 hours rather than 24 hours. Okay? So, you have to make sure on your management procedure, pwede mong i-consider ang mas maaga. Okay? Kasi mas fresh yun. If an injured employee later tells a different story, it's important to have an accurate record. Okay? Yun yung importansya. If you got it right away after 8 hours and then after some time, within 24 hours, yung, yung same person will change his story. So, at least you have some reference. Okay? So, ito yung mga importansya. You are going to protect the company that you are engaged with. So, yun yung point about the question number 6. So, right now, do you have any questions so far? about this uh, part of our of our uh, discussion regarding this uh, 4, 5, and 6, okay? Because on the next part, dun sa part 3 natin, pag-uusapan naman natin yung 7, 8, 9. And then, sa fourth part, yung ating 10, 11, and 12 na most common interview questions. Because, you know, the best way to make sure na makalan ka sa iyong dream job as a safety kung gusto mo talaga, especially kung ikaw ay baguhan, wala ka pang experience, this is the best way. The best way to get, uh, to get hired is to make sure na prepared ka. Mas prepared ka dapat kaysa sa interviewer. Okay? Ang problema, pag hindi ikaw yung prepared, malaki yung problema mo, you know. This is the reason why karamihan ng mga tao kapag nag apply ng trabaho, kabado. And what they will do, they will just post on Facebook, especially dun sa mga safety groups, ano ba yung kadalasan tanong sa ganitong klase ng company? Excavation. What, what are the common questions in excavation? The thing is, you know, hindi mo alam kung ano ang mga posibleng itanong sa'yo. But if you can, if you can uh, have a short list, Okay? Short-listed mo na kagad yung, yung mga possible question. Ako, pag tinanong ako about trenches, what will be my answer? Okay? Pag tinanong ako about uh, showing, what, what are the things that I have to explain? How am I going to, what is the benefit? What is the difference of this control to others? Okay? Ano yung, ano yung contribution ng, ng type of soil? Ano yung... Ano yung mga uh, reason of uh, soil erosion? Kailan nagkakaroon ng soil erosion sa excavation? Okay? So, you have to consider those things. Kung ano ba yung mga factor? Kung papansin niyo, meron din load capacity ang ating soil in terms of uh, type of soil, right? So, kapag ang lalim natin is lumalim na in terms of doon sa, sa wind or, or doon sa type of soil, there's a certain slope na kaya niyang i-bear. Okay? There's a certain portion of the soil dun sa edge, okay, sa trench, na talagang babagsak. Okay? Na talagang babagsak because the soil itself cannot withhold anymore the, the, or bear the weight of the soil at the top part. 
Kaya kung mapapansin mo, hindi naman yung automatic na takpias ka agad pagka nagkaroon ng cell erosion. Usually on the on the half part or one third part, depende sa type of soil. You have to think about that. Mag-research ka na, ito yung problema eh. Alam mo, mag-a-apply ka bukas, eh ngayong gabi nag-iinom ka. Okay? Hindi ka man lang nagbabasa, hindi ka nagre-research. Umaasa ka lang doon sa uh, kung ano ang magiging kapalaran mo during the interview. And then tapos nyan, mag, mag, uh, mag-post ka sa Facebook after mo ma-reject or ma-offera ng mababa, mababang magpasahod si company A. Okay? Hindi ako tinanggap kasi ang hinahanap is college graduate. Bakit? Baka mas may common sense. It's the thing, you know. Kung ang, ang mga hindi nakagraduate, let's say for example, Ano ba ba? Ako, in-interview ko, hindi ako nakatapos. High school graduate lang ako. Okay? Then after that, parang hindi ko ginamit yung common sense ko or hindi ako naging prepared, hindi ako mukhang uh, karapat dapat dun sa ina-apply ang kong trabaho. What they will think? Taasan kaya natin ang qualification? Para makahanap tayo ng mas kwalifikado or mas karapat dapat na aplikante. This is what is happening right now. Ang rason kung bakit nagkaroon ng ganitong klaseng discrimination sa sa sense of hiring uh, safety professionals sa ngayon na ah, is because of us also. Kasi pinapamukha natin na pababa ng pababa ang kalidad ng mga safety na junior, new generation of safety officers. We should stop that. We should help each other. That's the reason why, you know, supposed to be yung mga safety groups natin. We should be helping each other. Ako, kahit ako, the reason why I am doing this, aside from uh, some part of the aspect of uh, my purpose, is I want to elevate the level of safety of the next generation. Okay? Kasi kung hindi, what will happen to us? What will happen 10 years from now? What is the safety in the Philippines? Kung hindi ito mababago ngayon, for sure, mas lalong malma ang magiging resulta nito in the future. Okay? Anyway, uh, si uh, June Radek Diklaro, Radan Mistul. Okay, siya, salamat po ng marami. Very in, in, uh, informative. Okay? Informative. By the way, one piece of advice. Hindi naman sa, hindi naman sa minamaliit natin or, or minimenos natin yung mga ganito. Well, Pag sinabi natin safety professional, not necessarily nakatapos tayo. Okay? Not necessarily engineering graduate tayo. But we have to make sure we show them, we show them that we are professional in every aspect. Okay? Number one, grammar. Number two, spelling. Okay? Ang daming scenario niya na makikita mo sa Facebook, hindi ko... Hindi natin laging gagawing excuse kasi hindi ako nakatapos and this is only what I know. Huwag mong lagyan ng limit ang sarili mo. You can you can be as good as uh, somebody else who have a higher diploma. Okay? Ang kailangan lang natin is alam eh. Kailangan lang natin hasain yung sarili natin. If, if you are not that good in spelling or grammar, then study that. Okay? In the first place, Kung gusto mong magkaroon ng mataas na posisyon sa safety, definitely what you will do is magre-report ka, makikipag-usap ka doon sa mga manager level, sa mga top management, okay? Especially kung magplano mo mag-abroad, you know, kaya minsan napupulaan nga yung Pinoy. Eh. Pag sinabi daw na Pinoy, ang English daw ng Filipino is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, di ba? huwag nating hayaang i-degrade tayo ng mga to kasi alam natin mas mataas tayo yung kalidad. Well, technically, alam natin. Ito lang yung problema. Bakit napaka-importante ng communication skill? Alam mo lahat ng bagay na sa, sa utak mo yan. Alam mo paano gawin yung trabaho. Ang problema, hindi mo siya maipaliwanan. In, as a safety professional, the number one responsibility or role of a safety professional is to give advice and consultation, which is the only way you can give consultation and advice is through communication. So, hindi, hindi important alam mo yung calculation of load, uh, safe workload capacity. 
kung gano'ng kadami, gano'ng kalaki ng barrier kapag may radiography na ganito at ito yung level of curing or intensity ng radioactive material, okay? Kailangan mo rin alam, alam mo kung paano mo i-communicate ito sa mga tao. Okay? So anyway, uh, I think hanggang uh, dito na lang muna uh, si Apol Ronga Genelo Kuwa Dablo, okay? Google sir, madali lang mag-aral ng spelling at grammar. Exactly! Ang swerte nyo kasi, meron ng internet during the time na kailangan nyo pag-aralan yan. So, be resourceful. The best way uh, to be resourceful, you know, the best way to be resourceful is when you have lack of resources. Okay? Eh ngayon, ang, ma ang matindi, andyan na yung resources, andyan yung Google. Eh, pag hindi mo alam yung spelling, Google mo lang. Pag hindi mo alam yung grammar, check mo lang. I-type mo sa Word. Sa Microsoft Office Word, okay? 